We're also digging into safety and security at districts across mid-Missouri. Today, ABC 17's Sarah Higgins is taking a look at policies and upgrades Moberly Public Schools have made to keep your kids safe. More than 2,000 Moberly students are back in the halls this week, and ABC 17 wanted to know how the district plans to address security threats this school year. We asked for last year's maintenance records of repairs to school doors and locks, its safety policies, and security upgrade expenses, and here's what I found. During last school year, there were 11 work order requests for exterior doors not closing or locking properly, seven work orders for broken classroom door locks, and three work orders for the office-controlled front door locking system not working properly. Now, all three work orders for the front door system were fixed in the same day, and the other door and lock requests were fixed between one and four days, with most being fixed in one day. Now, for safety upgrades in the last five years, the district has spent nearly half a million dollars on purchases. Those upgrades include more than 41000 spent on better security doors with new lock and key system, which controls entry and access, and more than 41000 spent on aluminum door and glass replacements. Now, Moberly School District also installed around 40 door handles inside classrooms this summer, and teachers requested these door handles to be able to shut their doors quickly in an emergency. The district did not provide us their lockdown policy, but here's what I found from their other emergency policies. There will be one intruder drill every semester. Intruder drills will be led by police. The district plans to monitor the list of people with building access regularly, and it will identify an emergency shelter in place for up to 72 hours. Now, this shelter can be used for any emergency where it's not safe for parents to pick up students, for example, during extreme winter weather. Now tune in tomorrow as I'll break down Fulton Public Schools' security plan and purchases. Back to you. Thanks, Sarah. We also have some details of security of schools in Eldon and New Bloomfield. From 2017 to 2021, the Eldon School District spent $336,000 on a lighting project, fire alarm, radios, and a new intercom. In last school year, the district spent $48,000 on cameras and a phone and a bell commander. This school year, the district has budgeted $136,000 for new lighting and cameras. For the district safety policies, Eldon says there were no lockdowns last school year, but there were also no locked door inspections recorded and no system for keeping, keeping maintenance records. The district says intruder drills are led by police. And for New Bloomfield, the district spent $31,000 on its school resource officer program and another $1,000 on other security purchases in the 2018-2019 school year. In the 2019-2020 school year, it spent $28,000 on its SRO program and another $20,000 on other security purchases. And we'll continue our school district safety plan coverage for the rest of this week. And you can find even more of the back-to-school coverage by going to our website at abc17news.com.